County leaders are hoping new upgrades to the Perry Houston County Airport help the Georgia State Patrol become more efficient. The airport's manager tells me it's been a collective effort to build onto what she calls an already successful facility. Airport organizers are trying to make their facility soar to new heights. It's been a collective effort and uh, and you can see what's happened. Obviously successful. Patsy Goff took over as manager of the Perry Houston County Airport eight years ago. Since then, she says it's grown tremendously. Three rows of hangars that house 48 aircraft already. And then we've got um, open tea hangars, corporate hangars, maintenance hangars, uh, an old Georgia State Patrol hangar on the north side. There's more. We've got a hangar that houses the Ag Air Update, which is the only crop dusting newspaper in the world. So it's, it's, and we're growing by leaps and bounds every single year. In the coming months, there will be another leap. Plans are to move an outdated but active state patrol hangar to a new state-of-the-art building. Well, we're wanting to kind of to speed up the response times and the direction that we're headed in is going to allow us to do that. Sergeant Hamilton Halford says he and a handful of other pilots and crew have outgrown the old space and are looking forward to moving to the 125 square foot structure. He's hoping to bring on more personnel, aircraft, and a maintenance area to create what he calls a one-stop shop for state patrol aviation in the region. I think we'll see a reduction in our response times. We'll see an increase in our fines. And I think it'll just be a win-win situation for everyone in the state. The county partnered with its three incorporated cities and the state patrol to make the million-dollar project happen. Goff says it's a step to help her neighborhood. And she's hoping for a smooth landing. We're, we're helping the community, and I love it. I love it. I love this community. I love being a part of it. I love this airport, and uh, I'm proud of everything. There's a groundbreaking ceremony scheduled for tomorrow at 10 in the morning. There are also plans to build an additional hangar that will house 14 small planes to cut down on the airport's waiting list. Goff says the goal is to complete the entire project in the next couple of months.